Okay, so today I'm going to try doing the layered, the layered effect. Um, yesterday I had a huge fail, and I'm hoping it was just the paper. So I'm going to try the same technique or the same exact sequence that I did yesterday, except I'm going to try using it with different paper. First I need to squeeze some black paint out, and I'll roll it on. I'm just going to roll it on where the my stencil is going to be right in this part here. And I'm just going to place my little stencil, my bird stencil down. And this bird stencil I cut out, um, I made yesterday. And I'm just going to put some paper over it. I'm going to try to get off all the excess paint around that stencil so that the actual paint sticks only to uh, what was underneath the stencil. I'm just going to see if I can get all that off. And whatever I can't get off, I'm going to just use a baby wipe to get it off. So I've got, most of, oh, I've got a little image transfer. I think I'm going to keep that. You see some image, or some of the laser print went, you can see some printing. I'm going to keep that. Just going to keep it. That's really cool. Now I'm going to let that dry. Actually, I need to pick this up first. This has got to be picked up, so then I'll let that dry. I'm going to set this aside. That's going to dry for maybe enough to, to make it dry. So I'll see you in a second. I've let this dry for about a minute or so. It just dried to the touch. So next layer, I'm going to put some teal. I don't want to overdo it, but I just want to put a little bit of teal on my, I'm just going to put, spray or some over that, and that, I think I might just do just partial, because that's a very overpowering color. I'm just going to partially put some on like that, and like that, just, just enough to kind of give it some color, and then I'm going to just put some texture, some stencils on top like this, like that. And now I'll just roll that over just to press that color or press the stencils in there. Now I'm just going to lift those up and I will let that dry. Okay, that's dry just a couple minutes, just till it's dry to the touch. And I'm going to add a little bit of yellow and maybe a little bit of orange, just to nice bright colors. And just putting a little bit over that. And I'm going to just roll it over. I'm hoping I'm not lifting this. It looked like I lifted a little bit of that black underneath, and I don't really want to do that. I want to keep the color, the uh, the black, the bird underneath. So this time I'm going to cover the whole thing with a little bit of color. And then I'm going to put some of these little glob glue gun stencils that I made over that just to give some texture. And there we go, just like that. Now I've got a little bit of texture there and I'm going to roll over that just to press those in. And then I'll lift them up. And I'm going to wait for this layer to dry. Now I'm going to put another layer of a couple more colors. It's dry enough for me to do that. Just, just a couple more. Some magenta and some manganese blue. Just a little bit, and now I'm going to spray that. That's beautiful. Love that color. And again, I'm going to put just another, some more stencils over it, like this. And here. And maybe some more of these glue stencils. I think these are so much fun, these glue stencils. And I'm going to just bray over those, to press the press it down, and lift a little bit of the color out, and lift. 
And I'll just pick those up and then I'm going to wait for this layer to dry. And then after that, I'll put on my final layer of white paint and then we'll see what happens. Okay, I've waited a few minutes to get this tacky dry, but not so dry, not too, too dry, but hopefully this will be, we'll see if this makes a difference if I use the right kind of paper. I'm just going to put a layer of white over all of the paints that I've put on. It's kind of a medium layer. I'm just going to put it all over the back. And I'm going to pull this right now. I'm going to take some marker paper and I'm just going to lay it on top. And I'm hoping, crossing my fingers, that this will work. The last one I used, I used um, sulfite paper, and it was kind of textured, and it just didn't. <laughs> I'm hoping this was, I'm hoping the paper was the problem. We will find out after I pull this. I'm just going to get that, really let that, pull that up. And I'll be able to tell by just picking this up, I can see that, nope, it's not picking it up. I don't know what, it might be the paint. Oh my gosh, it's not pulling it up. Okay, so that marker paper is a bust. I'm not gonna even try, that's horrible stuff. Okay, that won't work. Marker paper, no. Okay, so what can I do? This is some of that sulfite paper. This is what I used yesterday and it did not work. But I'm gonna try it, because all my paint is not, it's not coming up, it's just the weirdest thing. So we'll see if this works. And if it doesn't, I'm just going to give up. <laughs> I won't give up. I, I refuse. So there's, it's, something's happening. You know, it could be that I had too much of the acrylic paint on. We'll see. So here comes my print. And it's looking pretty good. I'm a little bit, I'm actually much happier. There's some places where it's, the paint's not sticky or not pulling up, but it's pretty good. Better than what I, better than yesterday. I don't know why I had trouble yesterday. This is not bad. It's still not perfect. There are some white areas that the paper, the paint didn't pull up, but it's not bad. This is a better result than I had yesterday, but still not great. So I think what I did is I noticed that I, since I thinned out the, um, with that, with this marker paper, I did pull off a layer of the acrylic, so I think maybe my issue is that I had too much acrylic paint, or the last layer is just too much. So go thin on that last layer, and it should lift your uh, color up, and hopefully most of it anyway. So there it is. I think it's I'm much happier with this than I, and I think that I'll just keep trying until I can get a, a nice clean print. So I think I'm going to go thinner on the acrylic next time, on the last layer. Okay, so this is the third time. I'm going to try this one more time. This time I did pretty much the same process of layers, letting them dry in between. But this time I put the white paint on and then I left this on. I burnt, you know, rubbed it on and I went to feed the cat. It's been about about six, seven minutes. I just thought I'd let it really sit on and I want to see if that makes a difference. So here comes the, I'm going to pull the print and so far it's very clean. I don't see any, it's like my plate is completely uh, clean. So I think the trick is finally after how many times I tried this the trick is to wait, patience, patience, patience. And I was able, I'm just, and I'm going slowly, but I don't see one bit of paint on my plate. And that means I have a beautiful, perfect print. So now I feel satisfied that I finally did it. And it really is the last layer. It's just the patience. Put the paper on and let it bond with the paint. And I got myself a perfect print this time, and there was no residue on the plate. So I'm very happy with this. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I hope that you can try doing layers with your jelly plate.